Hello and welcome to my first ever Battlefield Bad Company 2 Weapons Guide. Today I will be examining the statistics and the qualities of the assault rifles and important notes that I should mention before diving into each of the guns are the following. The default soldier health is a figure of 100. A headshot is a damage multiplier of 2.1. Range to target plays a role in the damage of a weapon. The general rule here is that when shooting at an enemy inside 20 meters, you should expect to do maximum damage, and when shooting at an enemy outside 60 meters, you should expect to do minimum damage. One final note is that I will be also listing the minimum and maximum damage statistics when using Magnum Ammo due to the popularity of the specialization. So now that we're done with the foreplay, let's dive into the assault rifles. First off, we have the AEK-971. It has a maximum and minimum damage of 14.3 without Magnum Ammo and 17.9 with it enabled. Much like the M16 and the F2000, it suffers no damage loss over range. This means that it deals the same damage from 6 meters as it does 600 meters. It is virtually identical to the M16 in terms of stats except for the automatic rate of fire. It fires at a rate of 800 rounds per minute and the recoil is fairly low given the rate of fire. It is most effective at medium range, so an ACOG scope is highly recommended, although it does have the best iron sight in the game, in my personal opinion. Its high rate of fire and passable hip fire accuracy makes it fairly efficient in close quarters, but many players overlook this weapon for later assault rifles once unlocked. Next up, we have the XM8 prototype. It has a maximum damage of 16.7 and a minimum damage of 14.3. With Magnum Ammo enabled, the maximum is increased to 20.9 and the minimum to 17.9 respectively. The traits of this gun are very balanced, having medium accuracy and average damage and rate of fire. It is extremely versatile, being able to hit long range targets and outgun some SMGs under certain circumstances in close quarters. The major setback of the rifle is the heavy recoil when firing fully automatic at decent ranges. It has a rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute, and burst firing is recommended in most situations beyond about 60 meters. The recoil of the gun actually resets before the visual recoil does, so firing a second burst just before the recoil resets can oftentimes result in headshots. Much like the AEK-971, the weapon boasts favorable iron sights, but an ACOG scope is recommended if partaking in longer range engagements. Next on our list we have the F2000. It has a maximum and minimum damage of 12.5, which is increased to 15.6 with Magnum Ammo enabled. It has a high rate of fire at 850 rounds per minute, and much like the AEK-971 and the M16, it suffers no damage loss over range. It has the highest rate of fire of all the assault rifles, and its major setbacks include damage and accuracy. The F2000 should be primarily used like an SMG due to the difficulty of eliminating targets at longer ranges, and as a result, the ACOG scope is not recommended. A red dot sight or the iron sight is the best choice for this rifle, and when using the lightweight specialization, it is also advised in order to keep the enemies at close range when possible, and when in doubt, use it like a submachine gun. Next up, we have the STG-77 AUG. It has a maximum damage of 16.7 and a minimum damage of 12.5. With Magnum Ammo, those numbers are increased to a maximum of 20.9 and a minimum of 15.6 respectively. It has a high rate of fire at 700 rounds per minute and performs best in close and medium range environments. Its major difficulties include moderate recoil, bulky iron sights, and unfavorable accuracy. Given the lower accuracy at longer ranges, it is recommended that players use a tap fire or single shot technique to hit their target from a distance. As a result, the red dot sight is primarily recommended, but more skilled players may choose to use an ACOG instead. Although the weapon is deadly due to its high damage with Magnum Ammo, many players switch to the M416 once it's unlocked due to its similar rate of fire, superb accuracy, and better damage output at longer ranges. Next up we have the AN94 Abacon. It has a maximum damage of 20 and a minimum damage of 16.7. With Magnum Ammo, those numbers are inflated to 25 and 20.9 respectively. The weapon is widely used among many players due to its high damage and accuracy. Although low rate of fire at 600 rounds per minute may seem to hurt the weapon, a quick trigger finger can mitigate the short two round burst, making the rifle nearly fully automatic. When using short control bursts, a player can oftentimes eliminate several enemies without reloading. It can eliminate snipers at longer ranges and the two round burst is extremely effective at medium range. Although the weapon is very powerful, it is sometimes looked down upon due to the ease of its use. 
much like the XM8, the weapon can perform effectively at all ranges and is best used with magnum ammo. Attaching an ACOG or red dot sight is also recommended due to the atrociously ugly iron sights. Next up we have the M416, it has a maximum damage of 16.7 and a minimum damage of 14.3. With magnum ammo those numbers are increased to a maximum of 20.9 and a minimum of 17.9. This rifle in my opinion is the most versatile of all the assault rifles. It can perform well at both long and medium range when firing in single shots or in short bursts. And for this distinct reason of versatility it is a very popular weapon. The only major setback that this rifle experiences is slight trouble when dealing with close quarters engagements. At this short range it is oftentimes outclassed by SMGs and shotguns. It is recommended that either an ACOG scope be attached for longer ranges, but be sure to skip the red dot sight because the weapon already has favorable iron sights. And finally we have the M16, it has a maximum and minimum damage of 14.3 without magnum ammo and 17.9 with it enabled. Much like the F2000 and the AEK971 it suffers no damage loss over range. It has a rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute and can be made virtually fully automatic with a quick trigger finger. It fires a 3 round burst and is often used much like the AN94 to disrupt snipers at longer ranges. It is recommended that when acquiring a target that you aim for the crotch area, this will oftentimes result in the final shot of the 3 round burst becoming a headshot. This weapon is most effective at medium range and seems to suffer at closer ranges when facing weapons with higher rates of fire. It is recommended that the player uses an ACOG scope in order to take advantage of the range of the weapon and the iron sights are also quite disgusting and I do not advise their use. And with that being said, this has been my comprehensive review of the assault rifles. Be sure to be here next time when I review the submachine guns in the same format. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.